going on, everyone? Got a brand new movie review for you guys today. Today, I'm discussing Steve Carell and Timothy Chalamet's new film, Beautiful Boy. Beautiful Boy is a father-son story about David and Nick Sheff, and it chronicles the heartbreaking, inspiring experiences of survival, relapse, recovery, and a family coping with addiction over many years. Now, David Sheff is played by Steve Carell in here, who gives a magnificent, wonderful performance, probably his best performance ever ever in his career. I mean, he was fantastic in Foxcatcher, but I think this is just elevated to another layer. There's one part in this film where he's sitting on the phone talking to Nick Chef, played by Timothy Shalman, and when the phone call ends, I was in tears by just like Steve Carell's character, and it was just empowering powerful performance in there and one of the other things in here is of course Nick Chef is played by Timothy Shalman, who does play the drug addicted son in here. Before I get into his performance, though, I do want to say this is a very heart wrenching and wrecking film. I after this film, I went and sat in my car for 20 minutes and just sat there. I didn't leave. I didn't do anything. No music. No nothing. Just stared at the steering wheel and just sat there. And I started crying. Um, addiction is in my family. We do have someone in my family who is addicted to drugs. I'm not going to get into my personal story, but if you guys do want to share your personal stories, I'd love to hear them down below in the comments. But I think we all have someone in our lives who have dealt with addiction. And addiction is a disease. I think people don't understand this. And it's one of the main reasons why this film is needed to be seen. Because it's a film that is dealing with addiction. And is showing that it is a truly big disease. It's not coming off preachy as well. It's coming off in a subtle manner. But it's underlying message right there. Where addiction needs to be stapled so hard. And needs to be seen as a real disease. It, it, it's, it's heart wrenching. And it, 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 this film hit me in a really soft spot and a hard spot. Because I do deal with stuff like this. Um, my family has. I now like see more stuff that my family has dealed with. That they kind of shed away from me. Because obviously they didn't want a younger kid knowing about this at the time. And it, it's tough to watch. Um, and Timothy Shalman captured that addiction very well. The relapse. The recovery. The rehab. Going through and going doing the drugs and everything. And it, it was very in your face. Like this is bad. And there's moments where you're just like. Oh like cringing because you're like oh my god that i can't believe that when you see him doing the drugs when you see him doing the stuff and relapsing and going back and recovering it's like can you ever really believe what's going on whatever comes out of his mouth and that's what timothy shaman did so well is portraying an addict if you ever know someone who's been an addict timothy shaman nailed it if he was on the street and he walked up to me, I would not have been able to tell the difference. It's not just because he lost 25 pounds or that he has all this makeup on him. No, it's the way that he switches from anger to sadness to frustration super, super fast. And how he just, you can tell in his face, the way his facial structures moves, the way that he moves his body like this. It's just all captured so well. And he easily gives one of the best performances of the year, if not the best performance of his career so far. I mean, seriously, this kid is going somewhere. You saw him and call me by your name. You haven't seen nothing yet. Let me tell you that. Arterian, Amy, Ryan also do show up in here and they're wonderful in here. They're both the supporting actresses in here and they're so damn good in here. Uh, yes, they were going to say, oh my God, Holly Flax and, and Michael Scott are in the same movie. Yeah, but it's not a comedy, which goes as far to say the people sitting behind me who just couldn't stop laughing or mumbling to themselves saying how that's so funny. Shut up. This isn't a funny movie. And I, you're very lucky that I didn't go off on you. Like, I, I was very frustrated by that. And this is a film, again, that I think a lot of people need to see because it tackles a very hard subject. If you don't like the film, I totally understand that. But I think this is a film that's going to put this disease out in the limelight. And that's something that the director did so well is he put you into these family steps. He made you care about each and every one of them. And something that he does that is very risky, I mean really, really risky, but nailed it. it makes this film not in chronological order, which at times can be a very risky move. This isn't something that when a lot of films try it, it doesn't work. One of them, the most notable films earlier this year, Vanishing of Sydney Hall, they tried it and it did not work at all and it felt very off tone. But Beautiful Boy tackles it in such a good way. He tackles it in the sense of where it's Steve Carell's character, really you're in his shoes going about his story and telling his story about with his son. And there's moments where he'll flash back to a younger version of his son where they're going surfing where they're at the cafe just talking and bonding and you it makes you understand why he's doing all this for his son walk out of this film wanting to call your dad wanting to call your family and tell you tell them how much you love them 
because this film makes you care about them so much. It makes you appreciate them even more too. I think that's why this film was tackled so well is because of that direction with the editing that it was in there. When I first saw it, I was sitting there a little bit choppy, but it, it felt uneven. And then when I sat on it, I was like, no, that was the perfect way to make me care so much about this relationship. Beautiful Boy is easily one of the best films of this year, carried by such powerful performances and tackles such a heavy, heavy topic, but not in a pushing down your throat way, just in the right manner of way. I loved Beautiful Boy. I understand if people don't, it's a hard film to watch. It's a hard reckoning film to watch. I don't know if I'll be able to watch it ever again, but I do emphasize that people do go and search out Beautiful Boy this weekend. So with all that said, I'm going to give Beautiful Boy an A. Love this movie. I'll get it if you don't. I'll understand some of the shortcomings if you do get it. But everything was pushed aside due to the performances and the way that the story was told. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this one. So please comment down below. Share your stories if you guys have any stories about with addiction. I'd love to hear them. Let's talk about it down below in the comments. If you're new here, though, hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are wanting to check out more movie reviews. Plus, go hit up Sandwich on Films also down below. Because if you guys want to see movies early, you guys can check them out down there. Plus, check out some movie news and even some movie reviews. But guys, of course, until next time, stay classy. Stay classy.